Vicky's part thanks for the Royal Ministry and Kenny Pastor's Church. That the Arubolo is a mentor, helps and trains so many sons and daughters who pass through him. He forgives easily and himself apologizes easily to those he had offended. He doesn't like holding malice against someone he you can someone. He cares and loves. He accepts people easily too. I'm very grateful to God and to Daddy and Mommy Orowolo. I met with Daddy and Mommy Orowolo one Monday morning on 8th February 1988 in their house at Bakori Road, Karuna. It happened one Sunday evening on 7 February 1988 during the Royal Ministry Music Therapy organized in Doba Hotel by Reverend Bola Arowolo and his team. It was in the meeting that the Reverend announced through prophecy that God wanted to use someone who was in that meeting to work with him as a secretary in his office and he also said if you are in this hall right now you can come to my office and see me and mon and see me on monday at bakuri road in karuna for a discussion it was from that moment i had at that moment i had that announcement I lost my peace. My spirit was telling me, what are you waiting for? The message was an opportunity for you to go and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Move and prepare yourself for the great work for God. So on Monday morning, which was 8 February 1988, I went to Bakori Road to see Reverend and his wife. But when I reached there, I didn't meet the reverend, only his wife, Momiruolo, who told me that the reverend, her honey, as she used to call him, had traveled to Kano, and that I should come back in the evening to see him. So in the evening, I went back and met the reverend together with his honey wife. But I was very surprised because as I had just reached the house after greetings, Mommy Arubolo told the reference straight away that she was that she saw my face when when they were praying. Therefore, after the discussion, they asked me to start work the following day, which was Tuesday, 9 February 1988 because God has already spoken to them about me, that they were willing to submit to God's will in the ministry. And they didn't ask me for any document, qualification, or to write any application. I started working. I started working. I was one who handled sales of books, gospel cassette, and materials like 250 songs of praise compiled by the Royal Ministry, the Royal Ministry music cassette, God can never make a mistake that ran during that time, and etc. Christian Mirror Magazine by the Deeper Life Church, Home Alive Magazine by the Good Women Fellowship of Green Pastor Church, and other books and material published by Reverend Wale Oke and other men and women of God during that time. Since I started working with Daddy and Mommy Orobolo, they prayed with me. Mommy Orobolo cooks for everyone in the office daily. In fact, her own personal salary was from where she worked was asked if any of us had financial problems the reverend and his wife would run around to cover us up there was not much money 
during that time because the ministry had just started. Reverend and his wife and every staff passed through passed through one difficulty or the other, but yet Daddy and Mami Oruolo live by faith, and they taught us to live by faith too. Then no one lacked any t- good things. The love of Christ really bounded on, really bounded us together. We were so bounded in love, love to love for God, love for ourselves, and love to believers around us. We believe in communal living then. It was there, and the reverend continued telling me that God wanted me to pass through him to learn and get some basic training and experience in the ministry. Because God is talking, God is taking me to many nations for mission work. And that I would not work with him forever. And that I'm just passed by. When God time comes, that God Himself will release me to continue working for Him as He will lead me. But the man of God often asks me if I believe in the Holy Spirit of God. When I told him yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit of God, with a smile he told me, No, you don't seem to believe in the Holy Spirit. It was under Reverend Bola Rubolo. Daddy, I learned the ministry for the first time. With him, I understood the call of God and knew little about mission work. Reverend prayed with me and, counsel- and counseled me on things of God fervently. It was under his ministry he sent me to Bible school, Christ Ambassadors, where I met one of the teachers who taught us on cross-cultural mission. That the Rubolo sponsored me in that Bible school, Christ Ambassadors Bible School, under Evangel Matthew Ojaye. He sponsored my school project and IT, and my three months and um, three months attachment program under Reverend Joe Olaya, who was then in Sokoto State. Even before the school, the Reverend has allowed me to work in the Green Patcher Church as one of the pastors, and I worked with him for five years. It was in the church I got married to my wife, Dr. Pemisola Udo, on 23rd November 1991. It was through Daddy and Mommy Oruwolo. I was ordained as a pastor into Queen Pastor Church Presbytery on 24th November 1991. That was immediately after our church wedding, where he was fully mobilized the brethren to support us in all areas as to make our marriage a success. And it was through the Green Pastor Church Road Ministry I got to know school of mission who taught who taught cross-cultural mission where i started dreaming about going into a nation for a mission as it was sometimes predicted by daddy bola rovolo some years back before the holy spirit led me the way into the school of mission in the dream as i was sleeping one night before the all night prayer meeting that day in Green Pastor Church Road Ministry in Bakuri Road, Karuna, where the Holy Spirit took me to George Plateau State and gave me some writing materials and direction to School of Mission soon. And that when I reach the school, they would show me what to do. That was how I woke up with the vision. That was the reason I left the Green Pastor Church, the road ministry of school of road ministry for school of mission. Although it wasn't easy to leave Reverend Aruolo, the team of the road ministry and the Green Pastor Church, because the love of Christ was real and it it and it bonded us together. That was how 
my wife and I, my wife and I became missionary from January 1993 to this day. Thanks so much, Daddy and Mommy and Rubolo. May God continue to keep you as good instrument in his hand for his own good purpose till the end. Amen. <laughs>